Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 12.2, Problem 9. This is Section 12.2, Problem Number 9. It says find the derivative of the function f of x equals x squared plus 7x times 3x to the third plus 6x squared plus 8 over 10x plus 1. So this is kind of a tough problem. It's a combination of a product rule and a quotient rule. The top is a product, and we will need the product rule to do this derivative, unless we spend some effort to foil it out, which we could do. Um, and it's also a quotient, because it has a numerator and a denominator, which we can't really get out of. So overall, it is a quotient. The top of a quotient is represented with a u, and the bottom of the quotient is represented with a v. And there's a quotient rule with a vu prime minus uv prime over v squared. So let's write that out. f prime of x equals, it starts with a v. Then we have a u prime that I'm going to do in a different color just to try and make it clear. Because the derivative of the top, the u prime, is going to involve the product rule minus u with no prime times v with a prime over v squared. So again, I always say the v's make a v. The primes go on the right, the right side, because the word prime and the word right have the letters r, i next to each other in both words. So let's start filling this out. f prime of x equals <coughs> v with no prime. v with no prime is just a denominator. 10x plus 1. There's the v. Now, the u prime is the derivative of the top. Now, the top is a product. And ordinarily, we also write products with u's and v's. u prime v plus u v prime. Too many u's and v's. I think it'd be confusing. So the two parts of the product, instead of labeling it u and v, let's label it a and b. So when I fill in the u prime portion of my quotient rule, I'm going to write a prime b plus a b prime is how I'm going to fill in the u prime, the derivative of the numerator of my function. So a prime, the derivative of the first chunk of the product, will be the derivative of x squared plus 7x, which is 2x plus 7. Now again, the x squared has a derivative of 2x. This exponent of 2 came down times the number in front. There is no number in front written, but you can assume that x squared is a 1x squared. So the exponent of 2 times the number in front, which is 1. There's your 2x to the first. You reduce the exponent by 1. The 7x has a derivative of 7, because when you take the derivative of something that has an x to the first power, the derivative is just simply the number in front of the x. That is the 7. So that's my a prime. Then I have b with no prime. b is the second chunk of that product with no prime. So it is. 3x to the third plus 6x squared plus 8. <clears throat> so now I'm at this plus sign right here in my a prime b plus a b prime plus next piece I have to do is a with no prime goes here. a with no prime is x squared plus 7x. That's a with no prime. Then I have b prime. b prime is the derivative of the second piece of the product, the derivative of 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 8. So the 3x cubed will give me a 9x squared for a derivative. Again, the exponent of 3 comes down times the number in front, which is also a 3. 3 times 3, there's my 9 x to one less power, that third power drops down to a second power. The middle piece of b, 6x squared, has a derivative of 12x to the first. 
the exponent of 2 comes down times the number in front of 6. 2 times 6 is 12. x, one less power, so the second power drops down to a first power. And now the 8 on the end has no x, so its derivative is 0. It basically just disappears. So now all my work in red is just finishing the u prime. Now I'm at the minus. So minus, and I'm going to have to extend my fraction line a little bit. The next part of the formula I must fill in is u with no prime. u with no prime is just the top, no prime, just the way it is. So the top with no prime is x squared plus 7x times 3x to the third plus 6x to the second plus 8. That's my u with no prime. And the very last piece is v prime, the derivative of the denominator, which is just simply 10. So the denominator is the v. And the v is 10x plus 1. So the 10x has a derivative of just 10. Because when I take the derivative of something with an x to the first power, the derivative is just simply the number in front of the x. The 10x has a 10 in front. Then the 1 is at the end of the 10x plus 1. It has no x with it, so its derivative is 0. So technically, this is a 10 plus 0 as the v prime, which really is just 10. Now, that has filled out the top of my quotient rule. The denominator portion is much easier, just v squared. No prime, no nothing, so v is 10x plus 1. v squared is 10x plus 1 in parentheses with a second power on the parentheses. And now, finally, that's the answer. That is f prime of x.